Hello students, today we will discuss the development of embryo. Last class we discussed about the development of endosperm. Why? Because after fertilization, first development takes place in endosperm because of for proper growth and development of embryo, it requires sufficient amount of food material, nutrients and all. That's why already we studied that uh, three different types of uh, endosperms and uh, the most common type free nuclear type and uh, next uh, cellular type. Then rarely it is also present in helobials, specific order helobials and uh, like aspodilus and uh, most common type of uh, endosperm is the uh, that is uh, nuclear type and uh, then next one embryonic development in post fertilization and uh, embryonic development in in the in that post fertilization part and uh, the first endosperm later embryo and uh, the first we discuss a dicot embryo the development of embryo we call as embryogenesis. That means the embryogeny. Embryogeny of embryogeny of dicot. That means uh, how the dicot embryo it develops and all. The first before that one, exam point of view, uh, which part of ovule, the embryo, it develops and uh, they give options, chalaza, new cellus, micropylar reason or uh, integumental reason. Then your option will be the micropylar because of egg operators always present towards micropylar reason. That's why the embryonic development inside the ovule it occurs micropylar end of ovule and all. So that's why this is a micropyle micropyle reason. This is the chalaza chalaza reason and all. In micropylar reason zygote <coughs> zygote it is present this zygote Deployed condition. Then normally it is the resting position whenever ready to start the development and uh, that is that particular stage we call it as oospore and all. What is another name it is? Oospore. It is a deployed condition. The first here different types of uh, cell divisions. That means uh, only mitotic cell division, different models. The like uh, periclinal as well as vertical, like that. That means the transfers as well as vertical, such type of divisions, it will be takes place in them. In this one, towards micropylar reason, it is present. Then, first uh, transverse division it takes place, that is uh, unequal, not equal division unequal transverse mitotic division it occurs under in that one it will be forms whenever unequal mitotic division it forms then micropylar is a larger size Whereas chalaza reason, that means antipodal reason inside the embryo sac and all, it is present in shorter and all. This is a larger, larger size as well as a shorter and all. This is we call it as suspensor cell. The lowest side towards antipodal or chalaza end and all, that is embryo. Embryo cell. So, unequal division takes place under. In this unequal division, micropylar reason 
elongated larger with the larger vacuole which are present the large vacuole it is present and all this is the the dense it is present and all so this is this is other name another name if you want the suspensor cell otherwise we call as the basal cell and all this is the basal cell this is the apical cell this is the basal cell this is the apical cell or terminal cell so apical cell or terminal cell basal cell basal cell or suspensor cell and all so first vertical that means the transverse division not vertical transverse division unequally one elongated one shorter one it forms and all leg then so remember in suspensor region micropyla in the embryo cell related to towards the chalaza region and all that region remember carefully the next one so both <coughs> normally suspensor cell it divides transversely embryo cells it divides vertically so primarily suspensor cell divide mitotically through that is related to transverse division embryo cell it divides vertical division so both divisions takes place alternatively both it takes place alternatively it occurs and all then in this suspensor for understanding purpose we draw related to this particular that is a like uh, like related to it will be present and all <clears throat> so this is the first first it will be formed here first it forms two cell stage it forms regarding related to two cell stage later later it forms into the four cell stage and all so whatever uh, related to blue color it represent suspensor what is the main role of suspensor suspensor it multiple mitotic division it forms a filamentous center it pushes towards the new cells for further growth and development and all pushes what pushes purpose and all so it will be till shorter and all then the next one it divides after like uh, there here also the four cells so like this four cells it will be present and uh, that four cells it will be present and all uh, this is we called as quadrant stage this stage we called as quadrant in the quadrant stage this is the embryo cell this is suspensor cell then next also it takes place the same cell division then first cell only little bit to bulk down it will be enlarged and all here here it will be formed the octant stage this is the octant stage this stage we call as octant stage and all this is the suspensor 
suspensor that means uh, it looks like filamentous that's why filamentous suspensor it pushes the embryo and all this is the eighth cell in that eighth cell it will be present uh, two lice and all that is the uh, two types this is uh, towards suspensor towards micropyle as well as towards chalaza region towards micropyle towards the uh, are uh, related to that particular suspensor region that is we called as uh, that is a basal hypo basal and all this is this particular part we called as hypo basal this lower four cells it related to epi basal it represent it represent epi basal and all that is a hypo this is epi basal hypo basal in embryo cell in future it develops related to radical as well as hypophysis and all then epi basal it develops cotyledons normally dicots means two cotyledons apart from these uh, cotyledons plumule also it forms and all so epi basal it further develops plumule as well as cotyledons hypo basal cell hypo basal cells whatever these cells which are present in hypo basal cell hypophysis that means so uh, a hypo that is a hypocotyl as well as a radical such type of parts it must be develops in this one and all so in this octant stage when our specific octant stage and all then periclinal division it takes place in embryo cell and all what is the meaning of periclinal division peri means half of suppose this is the cell in this cell if it is present vertical this is vertical the cell it divides like this manner periclinal division that means horizontal <clears throat> it takes place horizontal it forms into the growth it forms into the the specific growth and all so multiple layers are formed and all so like that periclinal division it undergoes after formation of octet so that is important exam point of view which particular stage of embryonic development in dicot embryo then periclinal division it begins in embryo cell and all either quadrant either octet like that options both they give and all you write the answer during octet stage the periclinal division it involves and all so <clears throat> whenever that particular periclinal that periclinal division then actin then it forms into the then further it develops further it will be forms as well as it develops that uh, specific type that means the particular it undergoes it differentiate that particular membranes in embryonic in embryo cells and all in embryo cells in this one in this maximum 10 minimum 6 related to suspensor this is the first cell of suspensor the first cell of suspensor we called as hastorium this is we called as hastorium the first cell towards micropyle hastorium then further it will be present the filamentous like 2 3 4 5 like 6 7 8 like that to 6 to 10 cells the suspensor the maximum the 6 to 10 cells minimum 6 maximum 10 cells it multiplies and all more than that may not maximum 10 minimum 10 six cells it will be present and all then in this it is look like a spherical shape or a globular structure globular shape and all so spherical or globular structure and all it forms related to here only periclinal division is present the last cell it we called as root cap this is we called as 
root cap as well as that root tip collectively we call as hypophysis that is collectively we call as hypophysis so what we call as the last terminal part of suspensor cell this is uh, suspensor cells the filamentous suspensor cells the apical part towards micropylar region hostorium towards embryonic region that is uh, root cap root tip that means uh, hypophysis center here it, it, it undergoes periclinal division the outermost periclinal division that means uh, related to which are present in black color that is dermatosome such type of this one it represent dermatosome this is outermost layer we called as dermatosome then related to in this blue color it represent that uh, ground meristem cell center it forms the spherical that the ground meristem that is ground meristem this is outermost dermatosome then this is blue color it represent that the ground meristem so it a different shape then innermost procambium it forms related to procambium it will be undergoes that related to procambium and all. so here this red color it represent pro cambium so in a globular structure there is a three part multiple layers are present one among the layer it is called so dermatosome in further dermatosome it forms epidermis so in further it forms into the epidermis then procambium procambium it gives rise to procambium gives rise to steel or the vascular strand and all or vascular strand it forms a ball ground meristem it produces cork or as well as pith such type of cells and all it produces cork and pith so in further after complete maturation why because ovule converts into the seed after complete maturation of the seed then future the ground meristem it undergoes it further formation of a cork as well as pith cells and all as well as procambium steel as well as or vascular strand and all then dermatosome outer that means it forms into the epidermis and all what is the use of suspensor suspensor cell act as a only pushes towards the embryo that a specific part of uh, that particular endosperm and all that which absorbs which undergoes further development and all the first cell only the maximum larger one that is hostorium hostorium it uh, further it act as vital role to absorption water as well as minerals in the future purpose and all so of course it uh, finally it is in it for primarily it will be present later growth and development of embryo it it will be it will be degenerate gradually it degenerated and all then this is the globular structure and all after globular structure the embryo it undergoes that means a heart shape and all heart shape of embryo it will be formed and all this is the hostorium the suspensor cell then the specific the embryo it is a dicot that's why the heart shape heart shape it will be present and all
the heart the shape of this one the specific part it will be present in our these two are it is ready to formation of this one cartilages this two are this one it is this is the suspensor suspensor it will be formed at the later it matures what it matures it matures radical hypophysis epiphysis that means epicotyl hypocotyl epicotyl cartilages radical root cap every part it will be forms and all so it depends upon it forms then later mature the mature embryo the mature later mature embryo this is the heart shaped one in mature embryo normally it is present to torpedo it look like the shape it is look like torpedo shape and all in this mature embryo if you observe in mature embryo this is the ostorium and the suspensor this is embryo mature embryo in that mature embryo these are cotyledons it forms in this one cotyledons the curved nature of the cotyledons are present <coughs> the epic part the terminal part the red color it represent that is the plumule and all this is the plumule part these two are cartilages why it is curved and all because of anatropus anatropus over little bit curved nature because of this one the cartilages also ready to curvature and all curved nature and all so this is the suspensor this are uh, radical and uh, hypophysis these are the cartilages and the uh, ostorium it is present in all so it is most common type in a dicot plants the most common type of the matured embryo that is the uh, this is the curved nature that is the torpedo that is commonly we called as crucifer form commonly we called as that is a crucifer it is we called as crucifer form and all crucifer that is important crucifer form and all here hypophysis radical as well as cotyledons and plumule all are developed then it takes ready to rest and all after taking rest then it mature or completely then withdraw and converted ovule converts into the seed and all the ovule converts into the seed and all here then the structure of it is uh, the typical dicot embryo if you observe typical dicot embryo it is it we observable like this manner this is the cotyledon it is a dicot that's why two cotyledons here we have shown after completely developed and all completely developed this is the root cap this is root cap as well as calyptra root cap other is we call as calyptra this part we call as radical this is the hypocotyl so wherever here you observe very carefully wherever that particular axis wherever the axis related to cotyledons under 
So beyond the below the cotyledon, whatever the axes are present in that embryonal axis, embryonal axis, embryonal axis means between you know, plumule as well as radical, between plumule, between plumule as well as radical, whatever the axis which are present, that is that normally we call as between plumule as well as radical we call as embryonal axis plumule as well as a radical and all. that is we call as igelum otherwise embryonal axis or uh, igelum so normally this growth and development that uh, normally it will be it will be identified it identified in one particular plant that is a capsula bursa pistorica example that capsula bursa pistorica that's why it is a experimental purpose they act as vital role and all capsula bursa pistorica and all capsula bursa pistorica this one then Related to here, hypocotyl. So beyond the axis of cotyledon, these two are these one cotyledons. Then beyond this axis, we call it as epicotyl. Epicotyl. One is the hypocotyl, another one is the epicotyl and all. Then, so this is the particular axis. Beyond the axis, epicotyl. Below the axis, hypocotyl. Hypocotyl related to radical. That means uh, normally it is present towards the micropyle region. It is present towards the chalaza region. It is uh, present towards the micropylar region. It is present towards the chalaza region. It is present laterally. It is the plumule. Plumule further it forms into the shoot. A radical further it develops into the root and all. So like that, it is ready to develop. But uh, so, some rare cases. Some of these dicot embryos, it whenever if it is a spherical structure, whenever related to globular structure, so order of order of uh, the development that is most important. Most of the plants like this it will be complete under some rare cases it stops in globular structure even dispersal of the seed stage and all. Then example orobanki orchids orobanki orchids, utricular area, such type of the plants, the seeds before dispersal of the seed even it will be present in the globular stage only. It will be present spherical structure only. It, that means in that orobanki, utricular area, orchid, what type of that particular plants are the, related to orobanki as well as Utricular area as well as orchids. These rare cases, these particular plants, even though development before dispersal of seeds also, unable to differentiate to the cotyledons, radical, hypophysis, such type of particular parts, root cap. So radical, hypophysis, whatever these particular parts it will be present complete why because in this stage only dermatosin procambium ground as well as root cap this one is present it is not identified related to that radical part it is not identified related to that particular cotyledon so undifferentiated radical undifferentiated cotyledons so before dispersal of the seed undifferentiated radical cotyledons present so related to dicot embryo Many times in uh, object type of questions, they ask based on this diagram, you observe very carefully what is the particular one. So, radial symmetrical stage, then quadrant stage. This is a pro embryo. This is a, there is one, two, three. All these one we call as pro embryo stage and all. Pro embryo stage, then uh, globular stage, then hot to then mature torpedo, then completely mature stage. It will be present. So. Normally, this uh, developmental stage, Hanstein scientist, they explain it related to Capsella Bursa Pistorica. Hanstein is the name of the scientist under that uh, 
Hanstein scientist explained about this particular thing under in this one order is very important in some point of view what is that one in the pro embryo order you remember that order in this one pro embryo that means radial symmetry radial symmetry in this radial symmetry to globular or spherical globular shape or spherical shape globular to related to heart shape heart shape related to heart shape then it matures and form further torpedo matured embryo that means uh, torpedo shape or mature related to mature stage pro embryo globular heart shape torpedo shape that, that means a mature one then typical related to that specific form and all so based on this particular diagrammatic view if you observe roughly this is the ovule this is the integument these are integuments in the outer as well as inner here whatever i draw this is the hostorium this is the hostorium suspensor then whatever the particular cell this is the embryonal so like this it will be present actual towards the micropyle this is the astorium this is this is particular we call as cotyledon because of it is anatropous that's why it is a crucified model it is the most common type of now so based on this diagrammatically what type of questions in neat examination they may chance to ask and all here how many number of cells present in zygote after immediate division immediate after mitotic division transverse division how many cells are formed so unequal division one is the larger one that is the suspensor one suspensor cell what is the function of suspensor cell it forms filamentous one and uh, it will be merge or regarding related it pushes towards the endosperm and all that related to embryonic cell that means epical cell basal cell in that basal cell what is the function epical cell what is the role and all epical cell or terminal cell we call as embryo cell suspensor cell that means of basal cell and all normal suspensor cell it is uh, uh, related to that uh, transverse it takes place vertical one until globular stage and all after formation of globular that means uh, first quadrant four cell then eight octet then after formation of octet then periclinal division then it forms uh, outer dermatosome then uh, that ground meristem then innermost uh, that is uh, procambium and all so here in exam point of view what which one the first cell represent in the two suspensor cell after formation of filamentous suspensor and all what we call as first longer cell elaborated cell and all that is we call as astorium then related to filamentous suspensor it has what is the last one that is hypophysis what is meant by hypophysis root cap as well as root tip and all then multiple related to formation of cotyledons it look like a radic it look like a heart shape in between this one plumule it is present then another most important which one we call as between hypo that means uh, between a plumule as well as radical between radical and plumule this particular part in between the junction normally we called as embryonal axis normally it differentiate into the one embryonal axis as well as cotyledon in embryonal axis related to in embryonal axis as well as cotyledon in that cotyledon beyond the cotyledon in this in this particular cotyledon 
wherever I am it will be beyond that is we call as we call as this one epicotyl below this one hypocotyl hypocotyl means radical epicotyl means plumule this root then appropriate root cap that means calyptra it is present and are related to dicot to embryo or so in exam point of view what is the particular development that is the pro embryo globular embryo heart shape embryo torpedo shape then a typical embryo normally they have taken here example capsella this is the most common type there is a crucifer formula okay remaining we we'll discuss in next class